How's it going guys? Unreal Hero here with another comment response video. This comment coming from Hunter Pie. He wants to know, can you please make a video on how to make the Pac-Man effect on Razor Chroma? So this is a really popular design that that you'll find if you if you YouTube search um, just like really good ideas for Razor keyboard lighting. First of all, I want to say that this is not my design by no means this idea came from somebody else but i'm positive i can show you guys how to do it so let's get to work all right guys so this is the design we're going to be making right here so you got the pac-man theme you got pac-man eating some dots with a ghost coming at him so what we're going to do is we're going to go up at the top here and add and we're going to create a new chroma effect. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a static and we're going to select all of our keys, static, and we're going to put blue. So right now we have our Pac-Man background. I'm going to go ahead and delete the spectrum cycling layer. Okay. Next step, also, while your static is selected, we're going to draw our Pac-Man character. So, I'm going to hold control, and we're going to select some keys, just like this. And we're going to make these yellow. So now we want to go to the numpad, and we're going to select some keys here. Just like that. So you're gonna want these two in the middle, seven, eight, nine, plus sign, five, one, two, three. And we're gonna make these red. Also, while your static's selected, we're gonna select four and six. And we're gonna make these white. Okay. Now we're gonna start adding some waves to kind of change our, uh, to add some animation to our effect here. We're going to start with the dots. So we're going to add a wave. We're going to select G, J, L, and the apostrophe. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to a, a four node wave. So I click on the middle one here. I add one more node. This is going to be a gray. We're going to make this, actually let's make it white. We're gonna make that one white. We're gonna make this one white. This one's gonna be a gray. I'm gonna copy this code right here. And then I'm gonna go to this last node here and I'm gonna paste that code. And what this does is it makes the last the first node here and the last node the same exact color. So <clears throat> and I'm just gonna kind of pinch this in so that we have finite edges here for our gradient uh, we're gonna close that we're gonna set our speed to about 10 angle is gonna be zero and we're gonna hit save so now we have like some flashing dots right in the middle of your screen all right so now we're going to add the feet for the ghost we can stay on this wave you don't have to create a new wave to change um, or to add other waves. So you can keep this wave selected. We're going to choose the feet over here. Notice how when I, uh, when I select these feet, it deselects these. So now I'm not changing those ones that I've already created a wave on. So we're going to select the feet, change it to a three-tone wave. We're going to make the middle one red and the ends are going to be blue like our background and that looks good and everything looks good i'll hit save okay so once you have your ghost feet done you can be done with that and now what we're going to do is we're going to add two more waves and this is the last two effect layers we're going to add so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to rename this layer to 
mouth open. <clears throat> and I'm gonna rename this layer mouth closed. Now that you have your mouth open and mouth closed layers created, we're gonna click on mouth closed and we're gonna select our mouth keys for the Pac-Man, which is E, R, S, D, F, X, and C. I'm gonna go to color. We're gonna choose a two-tone gradient. And this first node is going to be yellow. And the second node is going to be blue. Just like that. So now that that's done, we're gonna change our speed up to 50. We're gonna add in a one second pause. This one second pause is very important because if you don't have a pause in there, it won't pause this layer and it won't allow you to say or see this layer. So you have to have the pause so that you, you're able to see the mouth open layer. So now that that's done, uh, angle 90 is good. We're gonna hit save. <clears throat> So that is going to be our mouth closed layer. Next, we're gonna do mouth open. We're gonna choose the same keys here. E, R, S, D, F, X, and C. We're gonna to go to color gradient, two-tone gradient, and we're gonna do the same colors, okay? Yellow on the left, blue on the right. Say that, we're gonna change our speed up to 50. Add in a one second pause so that it's in sync with the open or the mouth closed. Uh, we're gonna change our angle to 270. <clears throat> and we're gonna hit save. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video guys i apologize if my voice sounds a little raspy i am very sick today but i still got out of bed and i still made this video for you guys also i just want to let you guys know that you can follow me on instagram at unreal hero underscore and you can also follow me on twitter at unreal underscore hero i also have a twitch account that i stream on four days a week and my account is unreal hero underscore I'll leave a link for all of these social medias in the description below. But thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have a design that you want to see. I'd be more than happy to create it for you. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.